Greetings and welcome to my comprehensive review of Surfshark VPN. I'll be going over all the advantages and disadvantages of Surfshark as well as some information you may not hear in other reviews. I'll also be sharing why I believe Surfshark is a great choice for anyone and revealing a few areas where it falls short compared to other top VPN providers. First up, let's take a look at the user interface. To be honest, it's one of the best out there, it's user friendly and gets straight to the point. For casual users, most of your daily activities can be found right in the main Surfshark VPN window. In fact, all you need is one click to connect to the closest server. You also have the option of choosing the fastest server or selecting a location of your choice. Everything is conveniently located in one place. If you're looking for more advanced features, you'll find them in the settings tab as well. I personally use this tab to adjust my bypasser settings, but more on that later. And in my opinion, this is what the best VPN for PC should look like. This is just one of the many reasons why I highly recommend Surfshark VPN. Stick around for more in-depth coverage on all of Surfshark's features and capabilities. Now, let's talk about Surfshark's security and privacy features. This is where things start to get really interesting. For example, the Bypasser feature allows you to configure your VPN to only affect certain apps and websites. While other VPNs have similar features, I find Surfshark's implementation to be more intuitive and reliable. Surfshark's kill switch is also noteworthy as it's available on all apps across different platforms from Windows to iOS, which is not something every VPN can claim. Another aspect I appreciate about Surfshark is its use of RAM-only servers, which cannot retain any user data, providing added assurance that your information will not be logged or handed over to third parties. But Surfshark doesn't stop there. It also has additional features like CleanWeb, which blocks ads and malicious links at no extra cost. It also has GPS spoofing for Android users to change how their physical location appears online and camouflage mode and no borders mode for accessing restricted content in certain regions, schools, or workplaces. Rotating IP is another useful feature that rotates your IP address every five to 10 minutes to help cover up your online footprint. Not only do Surfshark's features have both a wide range and great effectiveness, but its performance is also impressive. In my tests, I found that Surfshark had a maximum speed loss of 15% across different servers, which is quite good for any VPN. This is thanks to its advanced WireGuard protocol. This level of speed was more than enough for my needs like gaming and streaming, which are important considerations with the increase of people using VPNs to access geo-blocked content. Speaking of which, I found that Surfshark excelled in unblocking streaming platforms like Netflix with no lag or buffering. Another great aspect of Surfshark is its unlimited connections feature. This allows an unlimited number of people to have access to the VPN through one subscription, which is a big deal, as many other VPNs typically have a limit of five to six connections. Additionally, Surfshark has apps for all the major platforms and some smart TVs making it a versatile option. Another advantage of Surfshark is its smart DNS feature, which allows you to run the VPN on consoles, something not commonly offered by other providers. For those interested in cybersecurity, Surfshark One, a bundle of cybersecurity apps, is also available in addition to the VPN. The package includes features such as safe search and alert tools to help protect against tracking, viruses, and account breaches. One of the standout features of Surfshark One is the antivirus, which offers a one-stop shop for all your cybersecurity needs and is on par with other top antivirus programs. Considering all these benefits, one might expect Surfshark to be costly, but it is actually one of the most affordable VPNs on the market. And in my opinion, it offers some of the best value for the price. I do have some downsides, however. One is the lack of SOX5 proxy, which would be beneficial for torrenting enthusiasts. Another is the limited free trial offered on select platforms. It would be nice to see a free version on other platforms as well. Additionally, the antivirus feature is not available on Linux or iOS devices yet which could limit its versatility. Overall, I recommend giving Surfshark a try and use the coupon code provided in the description to save more money. One final point, I am aware that users have raised concerns about Surfshark's jurisdiction change to the Netherlands, which is part of an intelligence sharing alliance. However, with its no logs policy and RAM only servers in place, I personally believe it's not a significant concern. In conclusion, Surfshark has its imperfections, but it excels in many areas and offers unique features that are not commonly found in other VPN providers. It may have room for improvement, but in my opinion, the pros greatly outweigh the cons. It has good speeds, an easy to use interface, 
many useful features and is reasonably priced. What are your thoughts on Surfshark's pros and cons? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching this updated Surfshark review and don't forget to use the discount code before it expires. See you in the next one.